Today, e-learning is at a crossroads. We can continue to improve the e-learning of today with marginal effect, or we can radically reinvent it. Twitter, Google, blogs, wikis, they're all having a major impact on how we learn and how we engage with each other. And e-learning of today is not keeping pace with these things. The reality is most organizations that we talk to do not do large amounts of learning 2.0, and I talk to people all the time about the technology, and they're so excited about the technology, they never give any thought to content or instructional design or pedagogy. E-learning that I've seen is a, is a pure translation of a training manual or face-to-face. -face. It's been picked up and it's been, it's been dumped in an, in an electronic environment. We simply aren't equipped technologically to be able to represent the human interactions that we learn in, in the business world. Real learning is a profound experience. It's something that makes you go, aha, I didn't know that. Um, and that is all about interaction with other people. Practice, coaching, feedback, manager involvement, learning incentives, knowledge sharing, those kinds of things build skills and competence. Logic on preference, experience, and emotion. And I would argue that no computer or e-learning package is ever going to be able to be able to uh, re re recreate an individual's thoughts and reactions in those ways. We need to stop assuming that every time someone has a question, we ought to have a course to respond to that question. The reality of e-learning today is that it is about basic knowledge acquisition we treat e-learning the way we treat Microsoft Word, in a sense. I am very good at Microsoft Word. It does not mean that I will be able to write the next Pulitzer Prize winning novel. Rapid e-learning could arguably be the creation of more non-relevant content faster <laughs> with less instructional quality. We are not going to allow the e-learning of today to continue. We are going to change it, and we are going to make it better. We are going to make it responsive, and we are going to make it good.